through the ringer here lately, I had asked for prayer regarding our truck situation and, you know, everything. I was asking for favor and prayer regarding, you know, went south, it seems. You know, and a myriad of other little annoying things that, you know, that just a lot of stuff just going wrong and so I had been racking my brain and I'm like oh my gosh I must be sinning to be getting pot shots like this you know starting to think like that and uh, you know right away the Lord uh, you know I'd say within an hour the Lord is speaking to me and I tell you here lately uh, his favorite thing to do is he'll just have random things come up on my phone. I'm not even, I don't even have my phone open sometimes and there, there it is. Um, so, you know, that day he actually put uh, an audio thing up and it told me exactly what the problem was. Uh, and it's essentially, you know, it's it's, it's not, you know, it's like principality of power stuff. Um, it's about the, the enemy just trying to hinder me. And so I need to just continue pressing on. And uh, you all know, um, you know, I, I had shared with one of our work travels, um, one of the cities that we go to, I kept getting these terrible physical attacks every time I go into the city until, you know, I began to cry out, hey, you know, hey, what is this? And, you know, eventually it comes out that it's a spirit of python. Well, what is a spirit of python? But, uh, you know, something that we try to constrict and choke. Uh, you know, it, it's more than something that can be over just a person. It's like over the body of Christ. And you have to realize that it's over the whole body of Christ and if you can understand the concept of, of what it is um, you know of course I've been reading and studying a lot of stuff regarding Python and uh, actually you get this little tiny book by Paula Cross it's more of a booklet but she wrote this a little thing that really kind of hit the nail on the head um, Python's aim is to keep you from the Great Commission. Let me read in, in Mark 16, starting with verse 14. You know, and, and I'm often giving this doggone scripture on the most attacked video I do about what is it? Uh, prayer for those that are wanting to see receive the gift of tongues. You know, those that have a burden, they want the gift of tongues, and they're having, you know, problems, you know, obtaining it. And so, I'm often saying this because it's the Lord showed me it's so powerful. It's the very last thing He said before He ascended. And what's awesome is he didn't say you as in the disciples, he said they as in us. So that's the biggest hammer I have when I hear people that say it's passed away. They can't prove exactly when it passed away, when it was fulfilled. But my goodness, Jesus says they. You know, if it was going to end with the disciples, he would have said you. Get a clue. So anyhow, Mark 16, starting with verse 14. Afterward, he appeared to the eleven themselves as they were reclining at the table. He reproached them for their unbelief and hardness of heart because they had not believed those who had seen him after he had risen. And he said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. He who has believed and has been baptized shall be saved, but he who has disbelieved shall be condemned. You know what he's saying here? Do it, always. Whether you have support or not, do it. And 
either they're gonna believe or not, he's gonna he's gonna condemn them. Not us. We're just gonna believe. These signs will accompany those who have believed in my name. Are you listening? They will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. They will pick up serpents, and if they drink any deadly poison, it will not hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. So then when the Lord Jesus had spoken to them, he was received up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. Okay, what was the purpose for him sending us the Holy Spirit? The great comforter. And when we receive the Holy Spirit, we shall receive power. Okay? The power we receive are to do these wonderful things that I just spoke. These things that don't seem possible. Okay? But if we just go, whether anyone's following us or not, and just begin to do these things... We have to believe and trust that he is going to do it because, you know, it's our job just to be obedient, just to do it. And we have to trust that he's going to do it. You know, sometimes when I'm praying, I'm not feeling fire, you know, I'm not feeling anything. But I know part of that, as I'm understanding things more, is Python trying to rob me of moving in power? Okay? So, here's another little kick in the butt. You know, if, if for anyone that's on the forum, if, if you're not sharing, if you're not, you know, it's a two-way street, okay? We can give, we can take. Sharing little tiny things, anything to exhort one another, because we all need to be doing these very things. So, do you remember when Build the Farm got all excited after going to the Power and Love uh, sessions? We, we need that constant fuel, and we get that constant fuel by sharing, by exhorting one another, by saying, hey, I stepped out and I was so scared and I prayed over somebody today and nothing happened. Yay! You know? But you tried. But you did it. It excites me to hear that anyone's doing anything. Okay? So that's why we need each other. That's what the body of Christ is for. Um, we have to grow in our giftings as well as these main mandates and so by sharing what we're doing we are essentially becoming accountability partners okay you know and if you say hey I'm gonna do this you know pray for me I'm scared and then other people can say later well how did it go and oh I chickened out or oh I did it or you know we have to keep having forward motion okay and, uh, you know, my, I was talking with my son yesterday about perseverance. And, you know, he, he gets into issues with his brother or brothers. It just depends. And, you know, I'm talking with him about love. And I said, son, when you were a baby... And I had to change your poopy diapers. There was nobody else there to do it. But I did it because of love. Sometimes love is not fun. It Love is responsible. But we must persevere and do it. Okay? Not everything that we do is fun. So, that's my kind of little kick in the butt today. Because <laughs> I want to encourage you. As I was sitting here and thinking about what I was going to say, and you know, it was kind of laying on my heart a little bit about the forum and uh, just desiring to see more activity. 
uh, another instance of my phone just flashing something that I didn't select and I don't know where it came from but it came up and real big it says gather your own crew and set off on an adventure it's actually um, an app and the name of the app is called One Piece Treasure Cruise. And so um, that kind of affirmed to me that I just need to encourage people. You know, are you are you on the crew? Um, do you have that same excitement that I do for this for this word for this mandate? because that's where I want to go and you know I, if you don't think that I struggle um, think again I really value to hear other people and what you're doing and pushes me forward and so 